everybody. Welcome to my live tonight. This is Sarah Page Gruber. I'm also Creative Sarah. Tonight we are going to do a fun shirt. I'm going to make a buffalo plaid reindeer. It's going to be super cute. And hey, Sylvia, you caught me. Yes, you did. Welcome, Tracy. So we're going to use this really cool reindeer feed company, just the reindeer and Santa's what does it say? Santa's Village North Pole. We're gonna use just that part on a cute baseball t-shirt and we're gonna do a buffalo plaid overlay. It is gonna be fun. It is slightly out of my wheel, no, not really out of my wheelhouse. I'm always doing things crazy to push the limit. So it's a little bit limit pushing. Hi Vicki, hi Melissa, hi Donna, hi Denise. So, what I'm excited, let me move this a little bit. Um, I'm excited to try this, and I hope it works because I really want to wear this shirt. <laughs> um, I've been seeing them all over online, the cute buffalo pet plaid reindeer head, and I want to make it. So, that's what we're doing tonight. Let's get to work. Hi, Janet. Hi, Landa. All right, so I need to move down to, here's my, so I've got my buffalo plaid transfer. I've got my reindeer head. I'm gonna set those aside because we need to get the um, ink mat. And I might, okay, this will work. All I have to do is take off the top plastic layer of the ink mat and then fit my shirt around this. If you don't have an ink mat, you can use something that is similar. The stickiness with the fabric honestly is is really awesome so i highly recommend that you do use the ink mat um but you know if worse comes to worse and you don't have an ink mat or a sticky mat to use put a piece of cardboard in between your shirt layers because that's going to keep that ink from going through the layers. That's really what you're doing. And for me, I'm just going to kind of get the wrinkles out. Something I did not do is figure out where I want to put, how I want to center it. It needs to be centered for sure. For sure for sure okay and then a nice I also don't want okay my arms there <laughs> should be good this has a little bit of a and you can just kind of get those wrinkles out and then it sticks right down to the mat beautiful now I'm just gonna come down a little bit and center this so I'm gonna kind of pull it taut we're gonna get this out of here hi Karen this is my newest reindeer feed transfer so these are available through me um, there are still some of these on my website. The Buffalo Plaid, however, is sold out on the website, but I do have it in stock. So I know that I've got um, a good number of those left. And it really is the transfer of the season. I can, can tell you that came back into stock over the weekend and is now out of stock. So, oh my goodness, I love, 
I love the new transfer smell. It smells so good. You guys might think I'm crazy, but it's true. All right, so now I want to... Wow, I got background music. I hope that doesn't mess with my YouTube. You know, YouTube won't let you have music. It looks fairly centered. My sister's here, so they're, you know. Sorry. Making noise. No, sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this in... I guess we'll do this in red. Red. I have to think, you know. I'm always thinking colors. So we'll do this in red. I'm going to grab my candy apple ink. And then I'm going to need the black. Uh, I think I should have enough to do this. Yeah, I should have plenty. I'm just gonna set that over there. I have my ink on, or on my water. I've switched sides of where my water goes. So I really have to think about what I'm doing. Okay, lots of candy apple, okay. And I gotta wash off my hands because I've already got ink on them from opening up these little containers. I can't wait till my little containers are gone so I can just use the big ones because they are so much better. So much better. Okay. I've got some paper towel ready to go. All right, so my plan is to ink this, dry it, and then put the buffalo plaid down. I could put the buffalo plaid over this and then do that. I'm trying to think if I did it backwards like the other way when I did it before. So I know I've done this. I will take one of these days. You need to show me how you are recording your face and your project. Well, Karen, this is because of the app that I use. Hi, Linda. Hi, Teresa. Welcome, Christy. Yes, that was gummy bears. It was their, I don't know, phone ringer or text ring Just for something. Becca's ringtone. Just for Becca's ringtone. Um, I love, yes, love that new transfer smell. So let's get on with our red. Hi, Jen. Hi, Beth. So glad you could join me from across the room. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. You know when you're doing an ink project, one time has got to be the charm when you're on fabric. So, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to go into any of the places where I don't, you know, plan to have the ink. Getting it nice and smooth. And you can, like I could heat set this. Maybe I'll do that. I can clean this, dry it, heat set it, and then do that other layer with the buffalo plaid. Because when you're doing the buffalo plaid, I am not on the solid surface right now. Here we go. Okay. Just going over this a little bit because it's 
the only layer I'm going to get down here. I'm not doing buffalo plaid on these words. I want to make sure that it's not, that's a pretty solid ink and that everything looks covered. I might do a little bit more. The trick to ink is drying it. Make sure you have it dry. And we'll be able to do that um, we're not going to do two layers. Like, I'm not going to layer over the wet. So that's important. We're going to dry this first. And then we will go back and dry over the, like we'll do that second layer on top of the dry red. Like I'm talking about wine, but I'm not. It's going to be a dry red tonight. If you hear me saying that, I've really changed. Because I don't like dry wine. I'm more of a sweet-ish wine. Okay, time to peel. I am done with my red ink, so I went ahead and put that right in. I'm closing this up so as not to get it all over me. I'm gonna peel slowly, make sure I don't have any ink on my hands, because that would not be good. I'm just gonna tell you right now. <sighs> um, I'm always at a loss when we're doing these bigger transfers because it takes time to peel and I I want it to I don't want any of the Shirt. Oh my gosh, I don't want it to fold over on itself. Help me! Okay. I think I got it. Okay. You can breathe. Everybody can breathe. I'm going to... I'm gonna stick this down for a second. We're gonna take this out. Cause you, ah! Need help? Um, I need the ink mat to come out from the bottom. Thank you. All right, so you may want some help for this. We need to dry this. And just, is there red on it? Um, no. Don't, why is this, oh my gosh. I accidentally turned off my power. Um, no, it, to clean your ink mat, when you have ink on it, you're going to want to put it under cool water and just kind of let the water rinse it away and use your hand a little bit, but you don't ever want to scrub because you can rub it, but scrubbing will always, it'll kind of agitate that adhesive and allow it to rinse away a little bit. <sighs> so we're just gonna dry this as thoroughly as we can. Oh my goodness. My cord for this is not very long, <laughs> and it's under stuff, so I'm like having one heck of a time. But we're getting there. See? 
So we're drying him. And then we'll go over with our black uh, ink and the... Ooh, Teresa, yay, you got your Archon stand today. Whoop, whoop. Yay. Oh, your mom ordered, yay. I, you know, I always need three sets of hands. That worked. Yay. So then, would you do me a favor and just bring me a, like, set that to dry and bring me a new one that's clean? Yeah. Thank you. Same size. Same size, yeah. Sometimes we dry it from that, but we can also dry it from the inside of the shirt. So, like, I can dry the back of it. You can just set it down. Thanks, don't fall or trip or anything. <laughs> that would not be good. And I think what I'll do is... I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna kind of wash off my transfer. So this will sit for a minute, cooling off, and I'm just gonna wash. Ooh, I probably shouldn't put it on. I need a non-stick mat. It'll stick to this. And I don't have a non-stick mat. <laughs> Um, hey Beth, you don't have a non-stick mat over there that you could easily bring me? Thank you. Because it's going to stick to my glass. Because I want to reuse it and I just want to wash off. Awesome. Just put it right here. So that it covers all the glass right here. Awesome. Thank you. What else are sisters for? Okay, so I'm gonna just use this. And as a precaution, because this is red ink, I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna wash this off. Hi Darcy, hi Virginia. because it's gonna come off the front fairly easy, but what's gonna happen is I would get all red. And while I'm cleaning, we can talk about how we are going to um, heat set this. I will use a heat um, press while you don't have to have a heat press. You can use, ooh, my trash has moved. You can use just a plain old iron. And what you want to do is you want to follow the heat setting of your um, fabric. So if you were using all cotton, like a canvassy cotton, you know, or 100% cotton, then you, oopsies, then you would, I'm just gonna use a little water to clean it off now. Um, put it to the cotton setting and do four minutes on the front, four minutes on the back, okay? Inside out, basically. Four minutes on the front, four minutes on the back. But if you have a blend, you don't wanna use that high cotton setting. You wanna use a little bit of a lower setting, so um, below the cotton or just lower than that. Make sense? I hope so.
Okay, now I need to make sure this is clean and dry. Don't get me. Now I gotta do it upside down. Just probably right here with this. Just so that we don't get any colors on any part of the t-shirt other than where we want it to go. Whoops. Don't do that. Don't let your thing get stuck all over you. All right, so now this needs to dry. Okay. So this is gonna dry for a second. I'm gonna stick it right there. I'm gonna remove this. So many moving parts. I'm gonna. I probably should heat set this while we're waiting. So let's get the heat going. My shirt is probably a blend. I can take these off. It is a. Yeah, so it's a definite blend. Um, so we'll probably do a little bit lower than the um, cotton setting is 305. I'm gonna do it a little bit lower than that. I'm gonna do 275. And I'm gonna take this little mat that I have and it will go inside of my shirt. So like if you had a, pre a, a towel works just as well as this. And we're gonna do 30 seconds with the parchment paper. As soon as it is hot enough, we have the timer, the default timer is set at 30 seconds anyway on the little machine. When you're doing it, you're ironing for four minutes, front and back. An iron takes a little more time for lots of reasons, but this is a um, specific heat press. Now they have those big industrial ones. If you know anyone who has one or who makes t-shirts, they probably already have a big press. This is just a nice one that you can keep at your home um, for, you know, smaller jobs like what I'm doing. Oh, Pat, hello, welcome. Darcy, hi, Donna. Hello, hello. So today is the last day to order with regular shipping. I do believe that um, if you order with the expedited, we have an expedited shipping that I think, but um, before Christmas, unless of course you're ordering straight from me because I will ship um, priority and it will be quick. And it won't take me, you know, two to four days to package it, so. Hi, Cindy, did I already say that? I mean, like, making sure I'm on and that we are on a solid surface. So I'm gonna heat press this again after I get the Buffalo plaid overlay, which means I'm gonna be I'm heat pressing it only once right now, and then I will um, do the rest after I get the black on here. I'm so nervous. It looks cute already, just the cute little red one. But I want the 
buffalo pet. That got really close to my face. I really need to be careful. Okay. So let's look at our cute guy. Santa's North, what does it say? Santa's Village, North Pole. My goodness. Okay. Now, we need this. Sometimes it just gets stained on there, which is fine. Okay. We want it. No bubbles, no wrinkles. We're gonna put our buffalo plaid down. Now, my buffalo plaid is in two pieces because I strategically used it for, um, I've been, I've cut this up, which is fine. It looks like something is on it. I don't know. Oh, that kind of looks like gold. I guess it's just, it is what it is. So we're gonna peel this off and place it over. I feel like I should, to line it up. I'm gonna do the other one first. I don't think it matters which way you line it up. I really don't. I think if I place this back over it, so it has its shape. I think I had it stretched out a little bit more. Oh crap, oops, sorry. Sorry. But I feel like I'm a hot mess. I feel like it, um, was a little bit bigger when I did it, so I think I had this stuff stretched. I just pulled out like all the hair on my head. Ah, you guys, it's so fun to be me. So the mat I'm using, the other, so I don't have, I do not have a specific heat press mat. So whatever I'm using is not that. FYI. All right. It's just it's just going to take me a minute to line this up. That's all. I do this every time and I don't understand what I do like the 
my idea was so good. And I should have left the whole thing on here. Stupid me making my decisions. And, and it doesn't line up because because I like don't have it stretched out. I don't know. Like it was when I dry it, it like shrinks up a little. I don't know. I've I've been through this before, have I not? Maybe my buffalo plaid just isn't meant to be. What do you guys think? Should I keep working on it? I feel like ah, because there's so much stretch in this shirt. I think I'm getting there. Well, Jennifer, the buffalo plaid would go first, um, but it doesn't have to. When you're layering, it doesn't matter because it's going to go through in the shape of the buffalo plaid. And in order to line up this shape, I can't, I can't, um, I won't be able to see through to get the intricate, intricate shape of the antlers and the head and everything. So I'm just going to do this the way it is. Yeah, see nothing lines up. I really, really, this is me and shirts. Like I've got, hmm. now I'm like messing up my, ah, this is supposed to be easy. Okay. We need to stretch it out a little bit more. All right, for, so let's, let's learn, let's, let's take a note. Don't remove the transfer from the thing and just go over it twice. I don't wanna make two t-shirts. But I'm telling you, we just need to stretch it out a little more than it already is. <laughs> and what's the worst that can happen? A little bit of the buffalo plaid will be outside of my reindeer, which you know, might freak out some people, but not me. I mean, it would, but it's not going to. I'm not going to let it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this until I can see it come through. So let's just learn from this. The whole layering of the fabric and the stretchy shirts. We're just going to go slow. I'm so glad I'm live for all to see. Now, this is a little, this needs to be stretched a little. And this 
needs to not be stretched so much. Okay. It's pretty darn close. I'm going to call it good because it's pretty darn close. And if I really wanted to, I could add a little extra red to that because it's just like up there and then layer this over it. I think I will. I'll just do a little bit of layer just to fill it in so it doesn't look too funky. Okay. This is the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. Okay. My black ready to go. I'm going to use a tiny one. I'm going to fill in a little bit red. Just a little bit. I think it's the I think it's the best compromise. Don't you? Just agree with me. <laughs> ah, oh my goodness. And honestly, nothing's like really gone wrong yet. It's just I'm being very picky about it. Okay. 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 I'm gonna sneeze. Three times. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And just a tiny bit down here. <laughs> it's all right. We got this, you guys. We've got this. Now I'm going to just stick. And if this doesn't work out, I have myself a new night shirt. Let's just put it that way. If for some reason Let's just make a pact that if this goes terribly wrong, we are not going to speak of it. Ever again. We just won't. We won't talk about the time when you tried to do the buffalo plaid reindeer. Remember that one time? Okay. Deep breath. Here comes the black. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. I'm just trying to stick inside the lines of where the reindeer is. Okay. Hopefully, I've got all of it covered and nothing that I don't want is covered. You guys, are you ready? I'm really stressed over this, but I need to clean this up before I peel because of the fact that I don't want ink anywhere. Okay. I'm going to peel this, put it in my water. Okay. Everything is in the water. 
water right there. And I understand that the buffalo plaid is quite large for my little reindeer. Hold your breath, guys. Hold your breath. Hi, Janet. Hi, Gail. Hi, Patricia. buffalo plaid for what I was doing so it's okay okay probably isn't my favorite but you can kind of see that it was buffalo plaid if it were you know what I should have done oh my gosh you guys I'm sad that I just thought of it just now why why um, I should have used the buffalo plaid from something else that has a smaller print. But I'm, I'm going to um, dry it and we're going to do it anyway. This is, it is what it is. The shirt is what it is. I have to contort in order to do this. That red down there is already dried and heat set. This will, you kind of see the colors um, of the wet and the dry, but it will change as soon as I get it done. Why didn't I think of that? You guys, it would have been perfect to take the one from like, the vintage truck or the transfer of the camper, the vintage, with the buffalo plaid. <laughs> You'll do better next time. You know it. You know I will. I probably could, um, it, it looks kind of cool though, where his nose is black. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can tell. Or maybe off-centered it a little bit, where I have those blocks right in the middle. All right, so now that that's pretty dry, I can get the ink mat out just dumping everything on the floor and we need to dry it a little bit more I'm still gonna wear it I'm gonna heat set it I'm gonna wear it <laughs> I didn't pay seven dollars for a t-shirt for nothing So we'll get this. But now, guess what I did? I gave you all a couple ideas. Because the other thing I thought would be really, really cool, I'm gonna dry it from the inside. I thought it would also be cool to take that buffalo plaid and do like a little section of the shirt just in the middle like just a little random like um splotch of buffalo plaid and then do the reindeer head over it to see this is a little not dry gotta look at it kind of close up after these um, dry and get heat set okay. 
All right. <laughs> so no, this is not a this is not a Cricut mat or anything like that. This is just like my version of a towel. And I just want you to know <clears throat> I was brave tonight and I thank you for watching me be brave. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm still going to wear my shirt. Hopefully the colors will fade into each other. Whew. at least I tried man I think I will try again but doing something different I bought a whole bunch of cute shirts and um, I'm not sure what I'm putting on all of them I went online, so okay, so here's here's the real deal. I got a t-shirt. Do you remember that 14-day challenge that I did? I got a t-shirt that says 14-day challenge on it. And <clears throat> um it was the softest t-shirt ever. It was so soft, so I just looked at the the label and I looked it up online. And I just found like the blank shirts. Oh, it needs to cool off and then we'll do the other side. Um, it is called Perfect Try. And that's because it's like a blend of three fabrics. And it's by District. So it's Perfect T-R-I District. And if you Google that, perfect T-R-I district, you'll find them. Because they're on like a whole bunch of, okay. Now I need to do it inside out. So... I just got some regular t-shirts in like colors and then I got a couple of the baseball t-shirts which I love. Um, I love the baseball t-shirts. Maybe if I do that I can do it all at once. I will take a picture. That's awesome, Denise. Very, very cool. Do it one more time on the back. Because remember, I'm doing it at just a little bit of a lower setting than the normal cotton is 305 and I'm doing 275. And so I'm doing it for a little bit longer, like two or a minute on each side, but not all the way. Like I did a 30 minute, 30 seconds, and then I switched. So we'll just keep doing it till it works. Sometimes, depending on the fabric it might take a couple um, tries to get the heat set just right to where it feels really good now that feels really good my red didn't blend but I kind of don't care maybe one more time I don't know 
What do you think? <laughs> my, my poor reindeer is so abused. Not quite what we wanted. I think I'm gonna heat set it one more time because it's not, it's just not perfect yet. Okay. Okay, this will be my last one. And then we will go. Then we will figure it out. He and I will make it together. I do want like one more cute, um, one more cute shirt for school. I like to wear these to school. Um, Beth, what? did you put all your transfers away? Why? They're over there. Okay, now we let it. You want to make sure you have them, right? Okay, guys. Here is my cute reindeer shirt that's got really big buffalo plaid, but that we want to be. <laughs> Let me give you a big picture. <laughs> I thank you for watching with me tonight and um, letting me make my mistakes live so I can teach you what you should be doing <laughs> and not following me directly. I still think um, he's a cute, nice reindeer with just different colors. He has a skin condition and um, I'm going to wear him anyway. He definitely has a skin condition. But um, I appreciate your support. So <laughs> if you are interested in either of the reindeer or the buffalo plaid, maybe not together, or maybe in a different way, not necessarily just for the reindeer head, um, make sure that you are inside of my VIP group because I do have um, the Buffalo Plaid in stock. Coincidentally, I also have the Buffalo Plaid truck and camper in stock too. So um, in case you wanted that with your reindeer, make sure you are checking out all of my 12 days of Christmas specials that are inside my VIP group. We are on day two, so many days to come. And um, who knows, maybe you'll get a cute reindeer with skin condition t-shirt idea. I thank you for watching and I will wear him with Pride Rochelle <laughs> and I will take a picture and post it so everyone knows that um, He's, he's my special, you know, <laughs> I, so many things are going through my head about my fun special guy here. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great Monday. If you are interested in making a fool of yourself and creating reindeers with skin condition, you know, and getting paid for it, mind you, if you're interested in all of that good stuff, you should join me in my opportunity group tonight because I'm going to be live at 9 o'clock p.m. Um, Eastern Time. That's just in 45 minutes. We will be doing an opportunity uh, live where I just kind of talk and share and um, let everybody know what it takes to be a designer like me. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.